Holy smokes, is this the first time Darius isn't in one of our counter pick videos? Hello summoners and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Dan and today we'll be discussing counter picks to the OP champs in 10.16. We will be going over the runes, builds, and play styles to effectively counter specific matchups. So the next time you run into one of these characters, you will have an easy time sailing through the game. For our question of the day, what character do you think needs a massive buff? Personally, I would like to see Ramus get buffed. The champion is very fun, simple to play, and has a lot of counterplay with the purchase of a QSS. I don't see where it could go wrong, but throwing the armadillo a couple buffs could make him see more play. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing all your answers. And lastly, before we get started, make sure to join our Discord and check out ProGuides.com. There, we have courses from your favorite pro players like Doublelift and many challenger coaches who can take your gameplay to the next level. We also have daily live classes from top tier instructors like Zyrene, Mike Young, Hobelter, and Saskio. Don't miss out on these great opportunities to improve and join the community. With that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. What better way but to start off the video with a classic Season 2 matchup? For those of you who don't know, Old Shen was overpowered because he had insane sustain and damage output, which made him a first pick worthy champion. However, people pick Vladimir as a counter to match his healing and scale better into the late game. That's until somebody picked Old Swain and countered Vladimir top lane. Ah, I miss the good old days. And bringing it back up to speed, times never change, so Vladimir is still considered a good counter pick to Shen. Your ranged harass forces Shen to eventually want to engage, and when he does, you will simply press E to start channeling it while pooling to dodge the taunt. From here, you can look to kite forward or backwards depending on what Shen does because you have the ranged advantage over him. Keep repeating this process and scale into the late game where you can flash into the enemy backline and wreak havoc upon the squishy characters. The build is generally very open when it comes to Vladimir, so we may miss a couple variations. Start off by purchasing Proto Belt, going Sork Shoes, Morella Namicon, Zanyas, Rabadons, and Leandries. Again, feel free to adapt your build accordingly to the game and substitute items in and out to get the best value you can. Oh, I almost forgot, if you're feeling spicy, try an Ardent Sensor, but we will leave that up to you to experiment. An important note on the matchup is to match your teleport with Shen's first ultimate if you can. Since taking plates isn't Vladimir's specialty, if you're able to start snowballing early, that will help your transition into the mid and late game where you can dominate the game really hard. Our next counter pick for top lane is going to be Singed into Fiora. Your ability to clear waves and find cheesy kills will make it hard for Fiora to lane early on. A big note on the matchup is baiting the Fiora to parry without flinging her, so pay attention to how she uses that ability and adapt to match what she does. For the most part, you will have the advantage because she will constantly feel pressured to use her W, so play the mind games and come out on top of the matchup. For your build, there are a ton of variations you can go into, but we will name one for you to get started. Start off by purchasing Dark Seal, reset early to grab Corruption Potion and Boots 1. From there, purchase Bramble Vest, Ninja Tabby, Rylize, Leandries, Righteous Glory, Complete Thorn Mail, and round out with any item of your choice. Singed will have an easy time in this matchup if played correctly, so use these tips to stay ahead. Look to bait her passive vitals by standing where she thinks she can lunge for it and instantly run up to her to bait parry. The second she ever presses parry, fling her and laugh as you take her LP. Lastly, make sure to always adapt your build. You should always try to fit a Rylize and Leandries together with any other variation to output the most damage you possibly can in the game. The jungle position is making an interesting shift with these champions finding more play. Nunu and Evelyn have been taking over the rift, so we got a couple hot picks for you. Huge disclaimer for jungle, jungle is all about lane priority. This assumes both junglers are inside a vacuum fighting each other. While Nunu runs around with his snowball and pesky ganks, he struggles with champions that can duel him and block his main damage dealer. The counter we are presenting today is Warwick. If Nunu ever comes running at you with his giant snowball, you can choose to tank it with bone plating and fight him. The reason why you won't lose regardless of whether the Nunu goes full tank or AP is because you gain a lot of HP when you attack when you fall below 50% and 25% maximum health. Pair that up with Revitalize and Nunu won't be solo killing you anytime soon. For your build, you want to go Tiamat, Red Cinder Hulk, Merc Treads, Titanic Hydra, vice versa between Spirit Visage and Dead Man's Plate, and finish off your build with whatever you like. 
For your build, you want to go Red Cinder Hulk, Merc Treads, Black Cleaver, Yomu's, and top it off with a Death Stance. I just want to add a quick note here. If you aren't focusing the Nunu, feel free to build more lethality to burst squishier targets instead of hitting the tank. Warwick is a simple jungler with extremely high carry potential, so here are some tips to make sure you know what to do. Focus on farming until 6 and contest scuttle crabs with lanes that have priority. Remember, the only way you lose is if an enemy laner assists Nunu first, so pay heavy attention to this when you're in the river. With all that being said, make sure to join our Discord below where we do tons of giveaways and, of course, to discuss your best Nunu counter picks. When dealing with Evelyn, you want a champion that can get up nice and personal to dish out big damage. Nidalee has this at all stages of the game, so early game and mid game will be a breeze when you find Evelyn. If you ever stumble upon Evelyn in the early game, simply fight her and you will win. Regardless of whether you land your spear or not, she cannot out DPS you unless she magically lands her W charm on you. Make sure to contest both scuttle crabs early because you have all the tools to win and escape even if you do not have lane priority. Your build is going to consist of Red Runic Echoes, Rod of Ages, Merc Treads, Lich Bane, Zanyas, and Void Staff. The reason you are building Rod of Ages is for your ability to have the hit points to deal with Evelyn's burst later on, along with other tanky options like Merc Treads and Zanyas. Make sure to purchase Control Wards and Red Sweeper while placing traps in random places to scout where Evelyn is. You can easily shut down anything she wants to do and even fight her head on if you run into her. If you ever find a champ ramping up on top of yourself, get ready to jump over a wall and disengage her. If that's not possible, wait for the charm to go away once she procs it and time your Zanyas when you think she will ult to avoid execution. Otherwise, in any other situation, you will always win. Countering Yone and Zed. Yone is tough to deal with because of his damage output and ability to run back to his original position. So taking Malzahar and acting as a pushing machine while roaming will be your answer to ensure you don't die. Abuse your minion demo by using it twice on melee's minions and once on caster creeps. Look to push waves and roam or reset in order to avoid Yone's trades and all-ins. Start off with a Corruption Potion into Luden's Echo, Sork Shoes, Morella Nomicon, Rylai's, Leandri's, and complete your final item from there. This lane is straightforward once you have the basics down, so here are a couple tips. Try to preserve your shield if Yone ever wants to try to knock you up because your shield prevents crowd control from hitting. Otherwise, hold your spacing and continue pushing out the lane and look to roam to get other teammates ahead. If Yone ever uses his E to try and chase you down, use your ultimate and watch him fly back, allowing you to escape. Just make sure to hold him down in team fights and your team should be good to go take him out. Zed is some of the strongest dueling skills in the game with sustained poke of the assassin class. The best way to bully him is by shutting down everything he wants to do and destroying him in the split push. Lissandra accomplishes this with ease. Anytime from level 2 onwards, if Zed ever tries to engage you, proc Aftershock with your Ring of Frost and watch him struggle as he deals zero damage. Otherwise, slowly poke him down with Ice Shard throughout the laning phase and look to roam. Start off with a Corrupting Potion into Proto Belt, Sork Shoes, Luden's Echo, Oblivion Orb, and Zanyas. This lane is straightforward once you have the basics down, so here are a couple tips. Really abuse the Ice Shard's maximum range through minions in order to damage Zed and push waves. Once Zed has been poked out, make sure to use two minion D-mats on melee minions and one on caster creeps. This will help you push lanes and roam to help get your side lanes ahead, making mid game a lot easier. Just remember, if Zed ever full engages on you or your teammates, use your ultimate accordingly to stop his damage output and laugh at him as you get his ice spirit to detonate on his own team. Lastly, don't be afraid to match or pressure him in the side lane since you have many tools to escape and shall if you ever do get caught. Countering Caitlyn and Senna Similar to jungle, there's a huge disclaimer. ADCs will never run at each other and fight in a 1v1. The point of these counterpicks is to find opportunities to win small trades and build up advantages, eventually leading to an outscale opportunity. A lot of ADC matchups are heavily influenced by the supports, since supports dictate the pace of bottom lane. Caitlyn, like many other ADCs, have long range poke that is annoying to deal with. So why not pick a character that can run her down and also have a global ultimate with Draven? Anytime Caitlyn oversteps, run forward with W and bait out her E and immediately retreat. The second she walks up, control and axe to fly forward and W into it to refresh the cooldown and activate blood rush again to run her down with stand aside and axes. With the Glorious Executioner, look to build Man Immune, Berserker Greaves, Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, Death Stance, and Mercurial Scimitar. 
Here are a few notes for this lane. Don't let Caitlyn continuously poke you down, so hold your spacing while still last hitting minions. You will always out DPS her at all stages of the game, especially when you have Hail of Blades and two axes running consistently. Lastly, don't forget to get a challenger to your coach on Pro Guides to help you cash in on Draven's passive. This is going to be a weird counter pick since it also requires the support to pick Rakan. When it comes to countering Senna, you always have two options, out sustain her or simply kill her quickly. For today's counter, we decided to find a way to execute her with Zaya and Rakan. Make sure to ping your jungler to start topside level 1 and cheese Senna when she comes to lane. Burn her flash and even get a kill instantly to shut her down and start your snowball. Your build should start with Essence Reaver, Berserker Greaves, Executioner's Calling, Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, Mercurial Scimitar, and finish with your Mortal Reminder. One quick point on this one, find opportunities to shoot out two feathers with Q and auto attack to send out a third and immediately pull them back with E to root, allowing your Rakan to engage. You will find a lot of free kills on Senna when she walks up to last hit. Countering Morgana and Yumi. Just keep in mind, support counterpicks do not imply that you will be 1v1ing your opponent to the death, but rather how they interact and what counter matchups can do to shut down the opponent. To beat Morgana, you're going to want to select Zyra. Zyra can constantly harass Morgana and even set up plants to block her binding. You even have the Electrocute to burst Morgana if she does not spell shield in time, so look for those engagements during the laning phase. You want to build Spell Thief's Edge, Sork Shoes, Leandries, Rylai's, Zanyas, and Ravadons. Zyra has a learning curve, but you are heavily awarded once you get past the bump. Look to play slowly with spawning plants and follow them up with Q to create plants to damage the enemy bot lane. When you're going for a root, flash towards one target but use your snare on the other so Morgana spell shields the wrong person, allowing you to full engage. Lastly, if all else fails, you completely outscale Morgana in damage so look to reach that point. This matchup may not seem something ordinary to you, but there is a little counterplay for Yumi, especially once teamfights come around. Since Yumi's W goes on cooldown when she gets CC'd, Poppy is the perfect pick since she has three crowd controlling abilities. The easiest one will be pressing W and running through a teamfight only to see Yumi get knocked up if she tries to jump between targets. Looking to build Spectral Sickle, Merc Tread, Stone Plate, Knight's Vow, Dead Man's Plate. Poppy is currently an underplayed champion, so here are a couple tips to enter the rift to demolish Yumi. Whenever Yumi ever hops off their ADC, you can E her and kill her with your ADC. Otherwise, look to press W in team fights around Yumi since she won't be able to dash around. If you ever find her unmounted with W on cooldown, knock her up in the air with your ultimate and feel that dopamine rush because you just completely outplayed her. And that concludes our latest episode of Counter Picks in 10.16. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to join our Discord below where we do tons of coaching giveaways and community events. Lastly, don't forget to visit our website at ProGuides.com where you can receive coaching from pro players, watch live classes, and improve with courses from pro players. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck out on the Rift.